gonna show you the boobs today. I'm not doing very well. Ow. It's just rock hard. But I am an athlete, so that's why I'm wearing them. You're doing great. It's just very low. I actually think that's a mat in there. God, they look huge. Bruise update. Oh, why did I say that? I don't take birth control. It is currently Sunday, uh, and my operation was on Wednesday. And I don't know. I don't know if you can even tell. Um, obviously, it still hurts a lot, but I am so much bigger than when I last spoke to you on the vlog. The swelling is really kicked in now, and the like today, and I reckon four or five more days, is like the peak swelling. So they are double the size that they will be my face is also very swollen oh it feels nice putting my cold hands on them i haven't washed my hair yet or really washed properly to be honest but um when b is back from basketball tonight he's gonna help me wash my hair it's not a nice feeling just being smelly all the time but i'm currently surrounded by parcels and i'm trying to show you because I don't know if you saw on my story but I was trying to feel less useless beautiful bodysuit isn't it by doing some depop I use depop all the time anyway I just I think it's such a good thing I hate having clothes in my wardrobe either old or new clothes that don't get worn and I'm really brutal with things even if I've worn a gym set like two or three times, if it's not a set that I find I always, always reach for, I know I just, I'm not loving it as much as I could. So I try and literally only own things that I love and don't own things that like, I wear sometimes and they're all right. I just want to own things that I really, really love. And then other people get to love clothes and things more than I would. Honestly, I just think selling on Depop is a really good thing. Um, and I always have given a portion of um, of the money that I make from selling on Depop to various charities. I try and change it every month. So last month was Beat UK, month before that was Diabetes UK. There have been various other ones. I've got more on the list. But I thought I'd do a really big upload, really go through all my drawers, all my hanging space to make a big sale. For the Ukraine humanitarian appeal so that's what I've been doing um I think I might have not realized how big of a task I've taken on because I did this for six hours yesterday and I shouldn't have because I'm taking so many painkillers which is great I'm very proud of myself for keeping up to date with my painkillers you're not getting the signals your body is giving you when things hurt so this morning I woke up and I just realised I uh, I was just in a lot of pain, more than I needed to be. So I'm finishing up today, getting the last bits listed. Um, so if you want to check out my Depop, I'll leave it in the description box. I won't lie, everything sold within minutes. Like minutes of me putting it on my story. I think I'd sold like 50 things, like everything that was there. But I'm still listing some more, so I'll leave it in the description just in case. But yeah, I'm just listing a few beautiful pieces, bits and bobs, so these can go to loving homes and not sit unloved in my drawers and in my wardrobe. But I'm going to show you the boobs today, because that's way more interesting than Depop. <laughs> oh, right. So I still don't feel like myself, obviously. This morning, uh, me and B went for breakfast, and I thought that would be okay. It was not. It was not okay. I couldn't... I think I was sitting really uncomfortably. I don't know what it was, but I couldn't even, like, cut my toast up. But I think, like I said, that's because the swelling is really setting in. I did change my bra, as you'll be able to see, and I can do a few more things 
comfortably by myself like I can get dressed by myself now um, it's much easier if someone helps but I can do it so this is the same bra but in white before I show you the boobs I'm going to show you my stomach like I said the operation was five days ago and my digestive system has not woken up from the anaesthetic take from that what you will but oh my goodness it's painful I'm taking all the laxatives that they prescribe me I'm eating so much fiber all the vegetables I'm trying to move as much as I can safely but my stomach and my digestive system is just fucking standstill and I don't know at what point to call the doctor and be like do I need something more strong <laughs> but look at my tongue it's just rock hard I don't know if you can tell but it is solid solid all the way around here and normally I've got a lovely squishy tummy boob time they still weird me out and like I said they are so much bigger than they will be um, I will emoji over my nipples but hopefully I'll get to show you the dressings and uh, the bruising and stuff oh um, yeah warning bruising blood um, this is a bit squeamish I find it quite difficult to look at to be honest so if you're not a fan of that kind of thing just skip like half a minute maybe a minute they're actually also very itchy which is very normal part of the healing process but I do everything I can not to itch other than like normal skin so I think you can see the bruising the greenness this is only the second day of bruising so I'm expecting these to all go pretty black um, and much deeper bruises like color of bruises they feel rock solid rock solid there it's a horrible feeling but I know that they will soften and they will start to feel much more comfy I'm giving myself about 10 minutes a day not wearing the bra weirdly one of the most painful things is the back pain that is coming as a result of obviously wearing such a tight bra and of just being generally in a position like this all the time so I'm making sure I've always got a hot water bottle with me or I've always got a heat pad with me that I just make sure my back is basically as warm has like direct heat on it as much of the time as possible I actually have all these heat pads I've got loads of them um, because of my bad back I've always had them because I've always found them very soothing so now they're helping even more than normal but yeah I feel like myself again nearly but because I'm taking such regular painkillers like every three hours I'm taking different painkillers um I'm definitely not quite back to my normal brain yet that's fine I'm I will gladly be a little bit loopy for a couple more weeks until the swelling is down to a point where I don't need to be taking the painkillers I am going to crack on with the last of this depop get everything up that I want to get up and then get it all ready for the post office tomorrow morning. Recovery boots. These are these recovery boots made for athletes, but I am an athlete, so that's why I'm wearing them. 
What do they actually do? They're good for blood flow. It's for good for blood flow, yeah. And I'm meant to be wearing compression socks for the next week. But this is a very good thing to do instead of compression socks. What other tools do you have to uh, recover right now? I have a heat pad on my neck. Mm, okay. I have a hot water bottle on my mm, tummy. Okay. Because digestion still says no, we quit. I'm hoping it's not a permanent quit. It's just they're having a week off. Drinking my lemon water to try and aid digestion. Uh, I've got my phone to monitor my Depop sales. Uh, and we're going to decide what we want for dinner. Mm. So what the most important thing is? What? You're doing great. <laughs> my skin has never been oilier. My hair. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> my hair's never been greasier. Oh, I'm a broken woman. But that's because I am a broken woman. I just have to accept that. Just wanted to give you a little update. I'll let you know what we get for dinner. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. We're having a Thai for dinner. He is having some wine. I am most definitely not. Water? Mm, gross. I got sea bass and vegetables. What did you get? Uh, I got a Penang curry. Mm. A little bit spicy. Nice. Do you want me to do? I was going to say at the beginning of this vlog, I don't want it to be like me complaining for half an hour straight. But I think one complaining vlog might just have to slip through the net because I'm not doing very well. So it is Monday and my operation was on Wednesday. And I feel like I've sort of taken a turn for not the worst because I'm healing and it's going well, but like the pain and the swelling has reached a level that's just really difficult to deal with. So I'm very, very, very swollen. My boobs are black and blue. Um, I will try and show you, but the, the bruises are a lot. And like, if you look at my cannula bruise, this is just like, obviously that's the worst it's been. For the first few days, you couldn't even see the bruise the cannula made. But as the healing process, like obviously it's, it's a process. So it's, this is actually very painful now. Whereas it's only been painful for two days because that's the healing process. So my boobs is that times a million. So I'm just so extremely swollen. So the chest is very painful, but weirdly what's causing me most pain is my back and my neck and my lower back. So it's causing me to sit in positions that are very like not good for your posture. Wearing the bra all the time is breaking my neck. It's so painful. I've swapped bras for a much softer bra, but I'm gonna have to put back the strong bra because the digging into the this bit of my neck, it, it looked like it was gonna bleed at one point. It's just so strong. And then the tightness around my my bust, ugh, it's just killer. Upper back hurts because I'm leaning over. My lower back is in so much pain because my digestion, my digestion, Jen, my like stomach still has not turned back on. It's been five days. I think I said, but the they t sent me home with obviously lots of painkillers and a big bottle of uh, laxatives. I don't think they're technically laxatives, but something that's designed to help your stomach get back in action. And I take three sips a day and nothing, like nothing. So the amount of like swelling and like hardness in my abdomen is obviously creating a lot of pressure down there and my lower back it just just feels locked it just feels so tight so much pressure and so locked and i'm trying to do little like very small cat cow sort of poses and there's just no movement in it i think i made a mistake yesterday by trying to um have a day without painkillers and I just took two paracetamol in the last 24 hours because the pain of my lower, like my stomach was so bad. I thought if I don't take painkillers, it might give my stomach a chance to get moving again because obviously the painkillers are so bad for your digestion. 
um that didn't work and i just woke up this morning in in stupid amounts of pain so i'm back on the painkillers because like i couldn't i couldn't bear it back on the painkillers in the soft bra i even tried to go for a walk this morning because I've been trying to move because that's also really good for your digestive system. Bad idea. Got stuck at the bottom of the road. I think I walked about three or 400 meters and got completely stuck and I just couldn't move. Standing up is very painful. God, this is four minutes and 10 seconds of literal just pure moan. And I'm hoping by the end of this vlog, I might start to feel a little bit better, but this is as comfy as I can get right now. So my arms are propped up with two cushions here. That way my arms can relax and these muscles can have something to sort of like rest. They're not holding anything up. I've got a hot water bottle on my front and my back, just keeping that nice and like soft and warm. And I've got a heat pad behind me on my upper back. And I'm just sat like this. And then I keep nodding, like nodding off sort of in this chair. So I just sort of nod off like this, like this. Uh, the painkillers are back, so I'm sleeping on and off all day. But I've got to say, today is the worst day I've had so far. Um, I'm trying to eat still, I'm trying to eat lots of vegetables. Last night's dinner was actually so, so yummy. And so many vegetables, so I was eating all of them like a lunatic, but I think I might have eaten them too fast. I was hoping today might be hair wash day and have a shower day. And obviously I need to keep the dressings as dry as possible, but they did say like you can shower, but as soon as you're done, pat them dry and then blow dry them so like they have to be completely dry you don't want any moisture in the dressings for any period of time longer than they have to be so i'm hoping today the painkillers will keep doing their thing and b can help me wash my hair because this i can't really show you but i actually oh my gosh i actually think that's a mat in there all it is is matted so that's going to be a project but i think i'll feel so much better if i can have a shower and wash my hair anyway i actually think my mum's gonna pop around to see how i'm doing that's how i am i hope you're well i feel like i've taken i feel like i think it feels like a step back even though it's not it's just the process but because for the first two or three days i felt good like obviously painful but like i've really felt good whereas the pain has definitely ramped up but again it's all part of it let me show you the bra i'm wearing at the minute this is just a primark number and it's actually my normal bra god they look huge they look absolutely massive okay please trust me when i say they won't be staying this big but look oh my god that that is insane amount of swelling. I don't know if you can see the bruising. You can see a tiny inch of the bruising. I can't believe how big they look. This is by far the biggest they've looked compared to when I looked at them the night after the operation. They're like almost double the size. Can you hear me singing? I hope you can hear that. Anyway, that's my update. I'll speak to you a bit later. Also, you need to do your wordle. Huh? You need to do your wordle. Oh, I'll do it now. Oh. How many did you get in? You look like an angel. The light is on you. And the daffodils are next to you. And your angel voice. James is actually a jewelry shop right now with Adam. Adam! I'm Adam. 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 Adam.
not looking amazing but the fact that it's clean so nice i've just woken up and having a look at the bruises oh, i'm so itchy so i'm gonna do a bruise update for you i have to hold really really still so i can place my emojis well right bruise update excuse my laundry in the background although i'm pretty sure you're not looking at that i'm really happy that my boobs still look like my boobs they are such like they're still my size and i'm just yeah really happy about that that's a bit of a close-up on the bruising i don't like looking at them or touching them i find touching them very weird because i actually never had well for the past 10 years i've not had sensation in my boobs because of all the damage done during the first operation but it's made me realize that i did have something even if it was very very little i did have something and now i have nothing i think some of that will come back like once i'm healed and not swollen but i really hate the feeling of not being able to feel anything like someone could cut my nipple off and i wouldn't feel it oh why did i say that so it's a very uncomfortable feeling my main concern well it's not really a con is it a concern i guess it is my stomach at what point do you go to the doctor because i am worried so my operation was on wednesday it's now the following tuesday and my stomach no no it's not well my digestive system it's um it's not come back into action and it hurts right this is my tongue it's just it's very hard this is very hard um and it feels very compacted and like nothing's moving i wake up every morning with really really bad lower back pain and it just feels like that area of my body is so full that nothing has any space for movement and it's just it's not very nice at all so i think i mentioned but they give you laxatives to take and i've been taking them i've been having a coffee every day nothing just nothing it makes funky noises all day but nothing else well it's just very low ouch so i'm seeing my surgeon tomorrow so i might mention if he's like how are you feeling after the op i might be a bit like boobs are fine other areas not so much also i'm taking painkillers regularly which has the opposite effect of a laxative so my stomach must just be so confused and ugh. anyway movement update so excuse me in my pants so i can move my arms really quite well now well not so much that way but we can i can reach things on shelves um i just can't hold anything or carry anything for any amount of time i can get a glass of water and bring it in here but um i can't like walk around holding things i tried to go for a walk the other day we live so near the sea so near the sea and we just wanted to walk down to it and see it and like just sit down on the pebbles and get some fresh air and i couldn't it was such a bad idea i didn't realize how difficult walking would be um so i didn't make it and it hurt so much and i got home and i had a bit of a cry because it hurt so much um so that was a lesson learned don't try and go walking less than a week after your operation so i really am just like in the house my mum and B have been taking me places like in the car because I can get in the car they do my seatbelt for me but I can get in the car sit in the car and then go and sit somewhere else like me and my mum went and sat in a coffee shop the other day and it was one where we could park right outside I just go straight in and sit down and then leave again and it's not like it's very tiring but I can do that but anyway it's going well we're getting there we're really getting there it feels very weird not working like I've not looked at my emails in a week and the anxiety is quite a lot because really i should be because i i can email but i'm just avoiding it so this is the final results of depopping most of the things that i own to be honest they're literally full i think that's going to cost like hundreds of pounds to post but how good is that we sold so much stuff 
and it made me go through my wardrobes and look at things that like I already have and like like a bit <laughs> does that make sense but basically I've gotten rid of stuff that I probably wouldn't have gotten rid of if there wasn't a good reason to and I'm so happy because my wardrobes are I mean they look very full here but they're honestly not I cleared so much of this like all these empty all these empty hanging spaces this was all stuff and I feel like I've really got just the stuff that I need these are like all my tops and the only tops I own so when you look at them oh like it's not that many but yeah I'm absolutely buzzing with that proper proper clear out there are some things left on on my depop this is literally it though so in here this is the stuff that's remaining I've got one super fun going out dress that was like 50 quid but this i don't know if i mentioned this actually this is right a bit of a weird one but basically from my um swimwear with AYM I have one sample of every single piece in every single colour and when you add those together it's a lot of swimwear and it was just part of the like process of making the range is getting samples of everything and making sure everything was perfect in every size and in every colour and in every style so I've list listed all of those on Depop because they would have just been recycled and the plan was to recycle them because of what they're made from they're very easily recyclable and they are recycled themselves it's that eco nile fabric i don't know if you would have ever heard of it but it's made from plastic that was once in the ocean it's like this really good fabric um and it's very 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 good swim quality obviously but yeah rather than just recycle them i've listed them all on depop in the hopes that someone can buy them and actually love them and get really really good swimwear for way 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 cheaper um than they were the only difference with them is some of the labels say the word sample like size medium sample but like the product is exactly the product that was sold and you know some of them don't even say sample but as of right now though there are a lot of those still available on my depop weirdly a lot of the orange ones i love the orange color it was one of my absolute favorites most of the black stuff has gone nearly every single thing of the pink thing has gone there's like two or three blue bits left but there's quite a lot of orange pieces left so if you need any swimwear even though it's march it's very discounted so i'll leave my depop in the description but yeah how mad is that? Two massive bin bags. Luckily I have that drop and go thing at the post office so we can just take them, leave them and they process them and I don't have to hold up the queue for nine hours. So yeah, we're gonna go drop them off now and get some lunch. I really want a bagel. Do you remember when you complained about my uh, hair dressing skills? You said I couldn't even tie a, tie a bun. Move your hand, just turn around. I did not do this. Thank you. Can agree to offer housing and other support. Mm. Hello, hello. Oh, trying to sit down. Ooh. Oh. So, I really don't want, I mean, it's too late. I was going to say, I don't want this to be the moaniest vlog you've ever seen in your life. I just think this is this is the exception on my channel it's just it's just one big moan <sighs> but <sighs> I saw my surgeon yesterday everything's going really well so it's now been eight days since the surgery everything's going really well um, I'm healing there are a couple of little spots that are not not even a concern but something that just to keep an eye on <sighs> sorry hey guppy just because of my like history with healing and scarring so i'm actually going to go back uh next week which i should i should have been going back in three weeks but we're just keeping an eye so i'm going back again in a week to have my dressings changed again i'm going to show you how they are today eight days post-op the bruising is stunning but i've just had a really crap 
four or five days it obviously hurts like i hurt all day but weirdly the pain of the actual wounds and chest muscles isn't the main pain one of my biggest sore things is my back because of the way i've been sitting lying i can't lay in any position that gives me any relief so my lower back is so painful my middle of my back my upper back and my neck they're all just so out of whack and that pain like because there's no relief i can't stretch it out i can't i can't get b to click me because we normally like do the picky up clicks and stuff like that i can't do anything because i can't even lay on my side like it's just there and it's just horrible and because i have to wear the bras all day there's there's just no relief so that's really i don't know getting to me i guess the relief i do have is i lie with a, with two heat pads on my back and a hot water bottle on my lower tummy and i just try to heat myself up to like relieve the muscle muscle tension i've got horrible headaches and like back of your eye aches um i can't i can't concentrate on anything i can't do any emails or texts like i can't i'm really struggling to look at my phone so it's a lot of laying down in dark rooms with eye patches on and just ugh, that's not fun and i think because i'm really lucky i don't take any medication at all i don't take birth control i don't take anything regularly touch wood i'm just lucky enough to not need to so when i do take stuff i think my body just really struggles with it so i'm taking painkillers every day and they're very strong and i need them because i'm in so much pain but they make me feel horrible in so many other ways like i feel sick i feel tired i can't concentrate like i said i've got these horrible tension headaches my digestive system is just fucked it's just having a really difficult time and because obviously they pump you full of so many antibiotics right after like during the operation and after obviously completely necessary but antibiotics are also really like my body really struggles with them it feels like it's sort of stripped my insides of its goodness which it has because it kills all the bad bacteria but it also wipes out most of the good bacteria too um so that's i feel that i i, I just feel generally really unwell so Mm, sorry this isn't the usual cheer and baking and other fun happy things and normal things i just feel like this is my this is my moan week this is my shit week it was literally only been eight days so obviously i'm not gonna feel well but i definitely didn't factor in the general sense of unwellness that goes alongside the physical pain so that's fun i'm not allowed to moan next vlog and if i do you're allowed to thumbs down the video there i said it anyway let me show you the bruises today oh swelling is very much there very much there but slowly slowly i'm feeling more and more more and more of my chest again when i first like started this vlog i think my boobs were like i could feel the swelling up here but now there's sort of that's normal chest again so they're getting lower which is very good right i need to really still to show you this so i can still talk to you and still censor out what i need to censor out so this is the bruising today i've got fresh dressings no oozing which is great also oozing is a horrible word they just they feel exactly as they look like they're just so swollen um surgeon was also telling me that this is very swollen so soon in time i won't have like they won't be so close together that's just the swelling right now as you can see they're very yellow um, and just yeah generally very bruised as you would expect they go all the way around the side just as they did before the main thing is they're doing well i can wash much more easier now b's been helping me wash my hair but i think i'm just about at a place where yeah i can do that i probably couldn't give it a proper like scrub but i can clean myself so that's a massive improvement i can nearly shave my armpits again not quite because it's not quite there but could i no, I don't think it would be that comfortable. I reckon I reckon four or five more days until I can shave my armpits. That will be a celebration when it happens. But yeah, I feel I feel like I look, which is just fucking washed out, tired, 
not myself ready to stop pumping my body full of drugs because i hate it i'm not used to it my body doesn't like it so hopefully the next vlog we'll have some cheerier more positive content and um yeah i'll stop being such a miserable cow thank you so much for watching in spite of me being so miserable uh but it is what it is isn't it I had a major surgery there are staples in my chest wall like oh i'm allowed to have a moan i need to remind myself of that i cannot believe how much of my boobs have been in this vlog but you're welcome <laughs> surgery content what do you expect right i love you lots and i will see you really really soon bye oh oh shit ow ah